This video is to demonstrate how to generate a burp note in Iconotes. Let's start with the calendar. Here I'll go to my client's appointment, check her in, and save the appointment. Now I'll move to the upper left hand corner and I'll click on new note. I have my account set to default to the progress note non-RX. I'll click the plus sign to generate. On the left hand side are a set of standard buttons that come with the program. For your burp note, you're going to create custom buttons here in the middle and then you also have your free text field that you can add additional information. As you can see, I've created my burp buttons here in a numerical format. I'll start with behavior. When I click on behavior, I have it defaulted to put in the behavior header. You can have this just have a letter such as B for behavior, I for intervention, R for response, and P for plan, or to have in the actual wording. Now I'm not going to move to the mental status appearance button. When I do so, it's going to bring me to the mental status area of the program. I'm going to start with appearance and then work my way down and then move to the next column, choosing what's relevant to this client. Now we'll click the back button to return to the previous screen. The next part is the intervention. You can use your custom buttons or you can simply click on therapy intervention. We'll put what the focus of the intervention was and what interventions we provided. Perhaps you want to add some additional detail. You can use other custom buttons also. Then click your back button. Now we'll move to the response. Here I've generated three custom buttons. One that they had a good response, that the response was poor, or that there was no response. I'll say the response was good. Now we'll move to the plan. You do have the option to use our link to treatment plan button, which will give you some details, some standard buttons to select from for whatever your plan is, or you can come to the right hand side for the instructions, recommendations, and plan field, and then select from your custom buttons there. It's up to you on which you prefer. I'm going to use the link to treatment plan. You can opt to pull information from your treatment plan, such as the problem, the associated intervention, and link that intervention to your note. If you prefer not to link to the treatment plan, you can use the progress buttons down below and then what your plan is. Click the back button to return to the main screen. There are only a couple more items to complete for your burp note. If you wish to have your diagnosis included in the note, you can do so, or you can omit all. With the diagnosis, you have the capability to enter in ICD-10 codes, DSM codes, or you can create an ICD-10 short list, which has a shortcut for your code selections. Let's do the return visit and our billing code. To complete this note, you'll click Compile. This will aggregate all that data into one beautiful burp note. Here you can see the actual note itself with all the appropriate details. Simply spell check and then sign your note electronically. And that is how you create a burp note in Iconotes. Thank you.